Uh, Rick Renierson uh, made an organization called Veterans Against Police Abuse and our goal is to develop huh? technologies and software to allow people uh, to more easily network and secure evidence so that they can guard themselves against any unscrupulous law enforcement that might be out there. Okay, this is kind of the test bed for the VAPA. It's my own personal vehicle. Um, after an unlawful arrest that I had, um, where I did not record and my iPhone sat there unused by my side, um, I decided, okay, it's time to start recording. Various technologies on here. This is an armored bulletproof Mitsubishi Eclipse. Um, Spectre Shield fabric inside. Um, bulletproof glass, armored by Texas Armor Incorporation in San Antonio. It's a great company to work with. Very, very creative and good people. My name is Trent Kimball, President and CEO of Texas Armor Incorporation. Today I will redefine what it means to stand behind my product. My name is Lawrence Casso. This is my AK-47 and today I get to shoot my boss. No penetration. The other thing that's great about this is it has multiple cameras in it. So there's a wide angle camera in the front, the back, and under both side view mirrors for basically 360 degree coverage. They work at night, um, and they also have, each one of these has a microphone that's separate. So four independent audio and video channels all the way around. Goes back to a Protect All DVR with a 500 gig hard drive. Um, this is sold by uh, Protect All Securities. It takes all eight channels of video in this car and eight audio channels in concert with GPS position and speed, turn signals being on or off, uh, with doors open, if you're braking, all this data is secured in that drive and it's connected to the internet so it will stream it to a remote server to make it secure. Okay, that's the protect all system. I'll show you the other component of the protect all system. Rear view mirror there is an AV360. It's an undercover system. It looks just like a regular mirror, uh, but it has four cameras and one microphone in it. Okay, so that all goes back to the protect all system. Now the other device that is excellent is over on the far side, that's the Jowtech ADR 3320. The great thing about that is it has two cameras and a GPS, so it records two video uh, channels, it records audio, and it records your GPS position. Now it records it to an SD card, but it also has a box, which is hidden in this case in the glove compartment, and it records it to a USB drive. So if a cop gets in your vehicle, and they're unscrupulous and they decide that they're going to make the evidence disappear, they would look at that camera and they would pop the SD card out or maybe they would just take the camera. But what they don't know is that hidden at the top of the glove compartment is a USB stick with all the evidence. Jaltech is a great combination, especially when you use it with streaming uh, applications like Bambuser or Quick. I have an, iP uh, an iPad that's center mounted there. So I'll hit that, it'll record it, and it'll stream it. Those two things right there really make that protect all almost not needed, um, but I have it anyway. The other things this uh, car has, it has two batteries, um, a little button where I can, uh, I can start off either battery. Um, it has uh, flashing strobe lights for this switch here. And this switch right here is a smoke screen. Uh, this is transmission fluid that goes in there. I push the switch there, it dumps it into both the exhaust ports to make the smoke screen. This is really just a toy but I hold that, it will smoke out the entire street behind me like Spy Hunter. Um, again, it's just a toy, I don't know what I would ever use it for. There's another switch there that'll electrify the door handles. Um, you just flip that and it gives people a shock if they try to open your door. There's a police siren system hidden in the center console with a loudspeaker just like a cop would have in case you need to talk to somebody outside the vehicle. There are two routers, one from Sprint using the overdrive, one from Verizon using a MiFi. They have a wireless, uh, two cell wireless signals in here that all the devices are connected to uh, for internet access. In the bottom left is a wireless microphone. This also comes uh, from Protect All Securities. If I pull this thing out of the charger, I hit the button, I put it in my pocket, it's wirelessly recording audio back to my DVR in the back. Um, so if I exit my vehicle and I get beyond the range of my external mics, which are considerable, then I've still got audio. Now the surveillance, of course, is there to mostly to protect myself against unlawful uh, law enforcement agents. I've had uh, two bad experiences, I have two lawsuits. Um, I've seen a culture that I think is just absolutely rife with, uh, with abuse and uh, we have a lot of challenges. I believe that when American citizens take their own, uh, you know, make their own, uh, take steps to, to put technology and to record the truth of events, that's all we want is the truth, what actually happened. If you have that technology there and everybody, all Americans have it, to record themselves and also to record the interactions with law enforcement or others because you never know when that could save somebody's life. 
When we all do that, that's going to bring about accountability. It's not going to be politics. It is not going to be uh, activism. Those things are great because they got to educate people, but they're not going to solve the problem. What is going to solve the problem is technology. Technology is going to make it happen. Whoa. Whoa.